So today I'm going to talk a little bit about buying apartment buildings. It's a little bit different than the residential housing market at this time, the single family market. So um, many buyers, all of buyers, have this belief, this attitude that they're negotiating with the seller. And, you know, even the single family market up until recently, you know, I had to explain to people, you're not negotiating with sellers, you're competing against other buyers. Well, in the apartment building market, you are definitely still competing against other buyers. Most investors at this point are still very confident that rents are going to go up and that their money spent on uh, rental units is going to be um, profitable. So, first of all, expect lots of competition. There are a lot of people that make a lot of money, and there are a lot of people that have a lot of money, and there are a lot of people that have accrued a lot of money through equity and appreciation. So you're going to expect lots of competition, which means multiple offers, right? So in fact, here it says 80% of the assets below $5 million will get multiple offers, and all assets over $7.5 million will get multiple offers. That's kind of insane, isn't it? Um, and then... You know, what does it take to get an offer accepted in an environment like that? Well, guess what? In this arena, in the, you know, basically commercial apartment arena, it's experience. They want to know that that buyer has bought properties before, maybe five properties at least, and that the agent they're working with has the experience to make this deal go through. Because they don't want to tie up something that's worth five, seven, ten million dollars to have somebody come through and say, ah, you know, the water heater is no good. I don't think I want to buy the project. So anyway, just a little information about um, apartment houses in the market, and it's very strong, and it's going to stay that way for a little while. Thank you very much. Be sure to like my video.